I made prototypes of toys I wanted to design with major toy um, companies like Hasbro, Mattel, whatever's out now, Funko. But I make it in my own way to actually, you know, debut my own type of style of toys. Now, these new toys are just lame, if you ask me. They don't move like classic G.I. Joe, He-Man, um, Thundercats, Silverhawks, Brave Star, Mask, Cops, Gobots, etc., etc. They just do this stiff Funko bullshit. You know, it limits the kids' imagination if the toy don't move. You know what I'm saying? What you're seeing right here is a Sleek Comics exclusive because it's a cosplay design of Storm Shadow from G.I. Joe. Okay? So any artist that got a problem with it, I, I really don't fucking care. Here's the thing. I used to get mad by people pressing the like button over my shit. I don't care about that no more. I'm missing out on the big picture. It's who you impact is more important than how, many, how much money you get or how many followers you get. That's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? The money will come. You're not going to make a happy buck if you're sitting up here letting small shit get to you. You know? So... There's no royalty to that song because it's fan made. I know it's from a video game, which I ain't gonna name it. But, most is a, a fan made song. Nintendo don't know nothing about it. I mean, they do, but they know it's just like, it's fan made. It's not the exact, exact or orchestra, um, you know, written track of that video game. Which Facebook need to change that mess, man. We should be able to listen to whatever the hell we listen to if it's sponsored through Spotify so the artists can get paid for it. Come on, you Facebook. Man, I don't like their views. I don't like their biased ways of doing things, but I ain't the one with the money. No minority on staff that I have heard of. When I mean by minority, I don't mean black. I mean person of color. That's how I see minority. Well, that's how I do arms. This is a concept, okay? This is a concept. So if I give it to like Mattel, Hasbro, etc., etc., okay, we like that, but you did that wrong. So my tour designers will fix his arms, the, the arms for you. That's how it worked. That's how all toys work. That's how now on Funko started a simple little design, and then it was like, okay, let's. That's cool, but let's change that. What changed my ways about it? I had an altercation yesterday. Somebody on fucking damn Instagram. Some tattooed up motherfucker. No, not my boy. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about somebody else. I think he's the Don of fucking art. And I get back and looked at I looked at I looked at myself when he said what the fuck he said. I'm like Come on, bro. It ain't that damn serious. Okay, you might draw for a little comic book company that nobody knows your name about. You probably do a little layering, a little ink and shit, but you're not doing nothing. Okay? But then you brag about how many books you sell and all oh, the boxes are empty. I don't give a fuck. See, the thing is, stop being so arrogant about your art. Like I learned from um, Phantom Menace. There's always a bigger fish. Regardless. Star Wars Phantom Menace. I learned that there's always a bigger fish. You ain't the, the pinnacle of art. There's somebody always better than you. Just be happy with what you do and just leave it alone. But it's hard to cut that down, that off. What I mean by that? By people just pressing the like button and, and they have the money and the resources to help you out but they want to be selfish they think you draw for their entertainment and that's what I really get mad about but I'm not going to sit up and voice it no more that's just, it's, it's a waste of energy 
I'll just block you and just be done with it. And stop telling people your business. This is another thing. Because people don't care. It ain't their life they worried about. Even if you're married, hell, shit. Your wife ain't going to care about you that goddamn much. They act like they do. So they don't need you no fucking more. So anything about your health and your well-being, keep that shit to your goddamn self and your doctor. They're the only two you need to damn explain that shit to. Fucking shame, man. That love don't goddamn exist. Waste of, it's a waste of fucking energy. They love you just enough to get where the fuck they going, then they treat you like shit. Sure, I made tons of goddamn mistakes, but fuck, I ain't, I ain't perfect. Bob Ross says it's your bravery test. I know you have to draw it like a toy, but my drawing skills are not at that point yet. You gotta show hinges and where it's gonna bend at and all that good stuff. Or you're just drawing a statue, that's what you're drawing. It's better than my snake eyes. My snake eyes are awful. Yeah, I made a lot of decisions. Merit was one of them that fuck. I don't know why I did that shit. This is just fucking stupid, man. I'm not a perfect damn person. It's just fucking society and damn turned their back is back on me. I'm trying to goddamn do something for my damn family, but hell, it ain't working. Work, yeah, I know. That's a given. When you want to do that and be a mindless puppet for the rest of your fucking life. And you got big dreams to do something. Damn, just do it. Sometimes you have to sacrifice who you ca- used to care about to make that dream reality. Sacrifice meaning that shit, just let it go. I know that's some shit you don't want to hear, but fuck, I ain't depressed. I'm just teaching y'all, like, fuck. If you got a dream to be an artist or a cartoonist or a comic book creator or something, sometimes you got to damn let shit go that you used to love so much because they don't understand, nor do they care. That's the thing. <clears throat> when they think it's about to go somewhere and everything's all right, then they act like they care. But when you in Duck City like I am, just trying to get to get a break in the business, they don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm tired of living like this wave of shit. <clears throat> but for how long? Till you reach your downfall. Four pound, y'all. Animal instinct. These niggas getting clapped up instinct. I'm tired of living life this way. Crime pay. But for how long? Till you reach your downfall.
Thing about marriage, you gotta understand. My me and my boys to go back and forth about this in the car. Once the government got involved, marriage is nothing but a contract. It's not like a holy matrimony type shit. Once the government get involved, religion ain't had nothing to do with it anymore. Something like that. If you do it once, don't keep doing it. Shit, there's no benefit in it. Cause love is only goddamn temporary. You think these women really give a fuck that you're trying to get them in a better way with your artwork? No. Nor do they fucking care. Oh, well, it's me. No, no, it's just from my point of view. It can't be yours. I'm not trying to say you're in a bad relationship. I'm just saying, you know, I'm speaking from my experiences, so don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. I ain't talking shit about whatever the hell you're going through. But when shit get heated, then you'll think about what I said. You just contracted to that person. Like a temporary employee. And face hardship and shit, people got them turn their back on you. But then when you about to reach success and be successful, oh, here they come out the woodwork thinking they still care about you. No, they care about your money. They don't care about you. That's how humans think. I'm saying from the most religious, holy, sanctified motherfucker to the most demon in the motherfucking streets in the club. Same damn thing. When it comes to money, don't think about nothing else. Now, it's just a touchy fucking subject to me right now, but it's a real subject. Yeah, I ain't perfect. I know I'm not. But I'm sick of the bullshit of being denied. Hey, if that's a, that offends you, get off my my YouTube man on my Facebook page. I don't care. erase that song Oh, trust me, I'm not doing it for you Facebook motherfuckers. I'm doing it for YouTube. So I know this ain't going no fucking well. So Y'all fucking free, free low and rat motherfuckers don't care about these us artists busting our ass for y'all. This ain't about likes. It's just about getting to the next level. So fuck you looking at it. Shit, buy the goddamn thing, motherfucker. But you ain't gonna do that. That's you Facebook's bitch. Facebook commanding your ass to press like. I don't like a goddamn thing. I'll save it for an art reference and that's it.
Why is it YouTube the only game in town that got down once you get your traffic up there, you know, they pay you for it. They give you a plaque to, you know, make you feel special. Facebook don't give you a goddamn thing, but they ask to kiss. Anyway, a link somewhere around here. Like, share, subscribe. I don't know. And there you have it. Storm Shadow and my design. You know. Something wrong with my phone. Now I'm tired of hearing that damn song. Hmm, what the hell? Sorry for that delay, folks, but something wrong with my phone. Greetings, YouTubers. No one else, because nobody else is paying for shit. Paying you for shit. And coming up next is this Joker piece right here. So, um, like, share, subscribe. Wish me luck on the NWA Power Hour for the question mark. So, that's what it is. Like I said, these are my views and my views alone. If it don't appeal to you, don't cater to you, then it ain't, it ain't for you. But, just understand this. Nobody gives a fuck about you but you. So, make sure you take care of yourself. Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Because you wake up with yourself, you go to sleep with yourself. <laughs>